Very simply, I'm going to answer a few emails by visually demonstrating how you extend the power cable on your Pico 160 XT without any soldering. There's a couple reasons why you'd want to do this, but this is mainly for my S4 Mini customers. Now, in certain motherboard configurations, you can have the 24 pin connector really far away from the DC jack connector. You can possibly stretch this cable, but it doesn't really make for neat cable routing. This is where extending the cable would come in very handy. Now, soldering is always the best way to go because it limits the amount of resistance, but butt connectors for this application are not a bad choice at all. So these, are butt connectors. Now these come in standardized sizes and we want the red ones, which are 22 to 16 AWG. Now, this is a giant pack from Harbor Freight, which you can get for very cheap, but I recommend getting the good ones off amazon.com. They use a little bit better metal, but also you have the ability to heat shrink the outer connectors, which makes a really neat installation. Now for wire, I'm using 18 AWG, but you could go down maybe or up without any problem whatsoever. Just use whatever you have lying around the house. In fact, go grab one the modular power supply connectors that you're not using. Probably one of those extra 10,000 SATA connectors they include. The last tool you're going to need is some wire cutters slash crimpers. This is the Channel Lock 909, and I've used this pair for about five years, building my Jeep, fixing my air conditioner, modding my 30-year-old dryer to keep it going. Now, of course, how long you want your wire to B is up to you, but I recommend six to eight inches for the S4 Mini. This will give you enough room to neatly wrap and route the cable along the bezel of your chassis. Now I recommend this pair of wire strippers in almost all of my videos because it's awesome. But you don't have to buy a separate pair. The chair locks will also strip it. It just takes a little bit more time and finesse. Now, crimping these couldn't be easier. You just select the stripped end of your wire into the metal jacket that's in the interior of your butt connector. Take your channel locks, put it over where you think your wire is, and squeeze as hard as you can. Yeah. When you're done smushing these two things together, give it a good tug and make sure it's sturdy. Basically what you're gonna have when you get done is a black wire with a butt connector on both ends and a white wire with a butt connector on both ends, hopefully the same length. Now, this is your first time. I recommend cutting directly in the middle of your power lines on your Pico 160 XT, which will give you the max amount of working room for stripping and butt connecting your wires. However, if you've done this before or you have some extra confidence, try to do it at the end of the connector because this will make it as neat as possible for routing your cables in the S4 Mini. Now, for future S4 Mini owners, I'm happy to do this for you. Just include an extra $2 for materials and a little tiny bit of time. But I do recommend that if you have the means to pick up one of these tools and some butt connectors, because like I said before, they come in handy for really almost everything that involves wires. So that's my little tip for today. I know it was really simple, but some of you guys asked, and I hope I took all the mystery and scariness out of it because there's no mystery and it's not scary. So good luck, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time.